All right, Jalen, for you, of course, a thousand points today. Could you just kind of take me through that moment and everything that's left? Um, honestly, like it didn't hit me until I looked up at the at the uh, jumbotron and they said I had a thousand points. But honestly, the first thing that went into my mind was just like how thankful I am for my teammates transferring to Ohio and just meeting such a great group group of guys and coaches to help me be successful. Did you know that you needed 12 points coming into the game to get to that number? <clears throat> Obviously, that sequence there, you hit the three, and then I think the very next play was a steal and then transition dunk. Seems like there couldn't have been a better way to cap that off. Um, one of my friends actually texted me right before we were about to start warming up, saying, "Good luck. Hope you get a thousand today." I was like, "Really?" And then uh, I didn't know—I didn't even know I was that close to it. And then uh, obviously that happened. And of course, the game—I really didn't realize it, to be honest. Uh, Andrew Bobby, WWB. Um, I know you scored the thousand points today, but you were also passing the ball really well. What were you seeing out there? You fit the ball into a couple. Um, just preparing before the game, knowing kind of the, some of the looks, what they're good at doing on defense and what they're not that good at doing on defense. And then obviously having guys like AJ Clayton and others just making shots for me. They got to make them for it to be an assist. So thankful for them. So AJ, for you, uh, through three games so far this season, um, the leading scorer has been three different players. And today, of course, it was you. What do you think that just says about the offense to be able to spread the ball around like that? I mean, we have a lot of guys who can score. I mean, like we've said, we're a very deep team. And really, on any given night, somebody can go, you know, tonight was my night. And I'm sure the next night will be somebody else's. I mean, we've got a deep enough team that can be like that. Um, AJ, for you again, um, what was working beyond the arc? You hit a number of really nice three-point shots. Uh, what was the key to that and overall your offensive performance? I mean, they were all open. I mean, Jalen was having his night. I mean, he's a great passer. He kept finding me. And same with Sharif and everybody else. I mean, everybody, like we said, we're a deep team. Anybody can go off on a given night. You got to guard us all. And one of us is going to be open. I was just lucky enough it was me. Ashley Beach, Ohio Athletics, um, for either of you, uh, Detroit Mercy had um, 15 turnovers. You guys scored a number of points off of those. How do you feel you did in transition tonight? Um, I think we did well. I think that's our emphasis every game. I think we're, we're obviously we're a little bit smaller than other teams, so we got to play faster and just uh, getting deflections um, and obviously getting the uh, defense rebound helps us get in transition. How do you feel that that has improved over the past three games? Drills, honestly, practice. Like it's something we emphasize in practice. We kind of do a couple drills, new drills tailored towards that. So just keep doing those and just emphasizing it like that. So, I mean, this is again for either of you. Um, so you guys only allowed 52 points today, which is the second least over the last two seasons. What was it that was just working so well on defense? Uh, we've got a pretty mature group, I'd say, and our coaches do a phenomenal job of giving us a game plan and a scouting report. And I'd say that's probably one of the biggest things is just our carryover from watching film, on-court scout, and then carrying that into the game. I think that's our biggest thing for defense. Yeah, you guys are obviously a smaller team. You guys actually out-rebounded them today, though. What does that say about this team? True. We practice boxing out every single day. Like obviously, just knowing that we're a smaller team, it's one of our emphasis as, as a as a group, and we just try to practice it every day. I uh, have just one more. Um, you guys seem to be taking a lot of threes, especially in the first half. Was that part of the game plan coming into today? Uh, not exactly, but I mean, if it's open, we're gonna take it. We've got a good shooting team. We just got to step up and knock them down. We've got any look we wanted today. We've just got to really focus on stepping up and making it. Um, first of all, I'd like to, uh, you know, I think uh, volleyball's first tip serves are going on right now, just now. So hopefully they can uh, do the same thing women's soccer did. You know, I know it's a great opportunity for them. They're excited about it and playing their best, uh, you know, ball right now. So hopefully they pull out the win today and keep it rolling. Uh, I thought this was a great team win for us to, today. Uh, we had multiple contributions. Thought our bench was really good. You know, congratulations to Jalen Hunter. He had his one thousandth point. Something I was not able to do when I was in college. Uh, I think I might have shot enough to get it, but I didn't do it. But uh, I thought his floor game was really good. 14 points, 10 rebounds, probably a career high. You know, six assists and one turnover. And it was good to see him bounce back uh, from the first couple games. Thought AJ Clayton was really good. Thought Aiden Hathaway and Ike off the bench were really good. Just, you know, really good contributions from a lot of people. Yeah, obviously Jalen hit the, or sorry, Andrew Bowlby, WUB. Jalen obviously had the 1,000 points, the 1,000 point mark today, but I thought he was moving the ball really well. What did you think about his passing? We knew coming in that uh, the way they guarded you, the extra pass was going to be big. You know, ball movement, player movement was going to be really big. And I thought we did a really good job of that. We had 17 assists on 25 baskets. And, you know, we were 10 for 33 from three. And a lot of those were really good looks that we didn't make, you know, so that it obviously could have been higher. 
but I was very pleased with the way we shared the ball, made the extra pass today. That was a big part of the win. Uh, Bobby Keegan with the post. So just sticking on the topic of Jalen, just of course with a thousand points, what is it that you've seen from him over the last two years and how he's grown since getting to Ohio? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is just maturity. Well, he's he's really grown, you know, mentally. Um, you know, coming in last year, we brought nine new players in, and and you know, it was up and down for him. You know, just the culture, what we did, how we do things. You know, having a next play mentality. Uh, you know, being a leader. And last year, I think second week of January, we've talked about it before. You know, he was a big reason why we went on a six-game winning streak. You know, played well towards the end of the year. Uh, he's really stepped up his leadership, you know, qualities. Um, you know, just had a great summer. You know, I, I'm glad he's here. I love him as a person. You know, he's fun, fun to be around. And, uh, you know, he's going to have a, you know, hopefully this catapults him to a great stretch here. Bobby Gorgor from the Post. What does it say about the team that even when a guy like A.J. Brown doesn't really have his best game, he can still be really productive on both sides of the game? Yeah, I think, you know, obviously coming in, he was our leading scorer. And, you know, I thought he had great looks. And the one thing I liked about A.J. Brown, he didn't really let his shooting affect the other parts of his game. And, you know, sometimes when you miss, 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 you know, you, you, you know, don't rebound, you don't defend. And I thought he did a good job of doing that. But, uh, you know, other guys stepped up. You know, like I said, Aiden and Ike off the bench were really good. Um, you know, those guys came in and, you know, I think their plus minus, uh, what was Ike was plus 20. Uh, Sharif was plus 21. You know, I thought Ike, you know, gave good minutes. So to have other guys step up in that situation was big. Um, so you talked about the six-game win streak that the team went on last year, led by Jalen Hunter. Today, it kind of seemed like after he scored his 1,000th point, like the place got a little bit louder and the team started to play a little bit better. You guys kind of went on a run after that. How do you think it is just that the guys gravitate to Jalen Hunter? Yeah, one, one, I didn't even know he was that close. I don't, do you know when he, when he hit it uh, towards the end? It was a dunk. What a way to get a thousand! I didn't get a dunk in my college career either. Had one one opportunity at Xavier, and uh, sold my soul for a finger roll. But um, yeah, I, I think you know just his his energy level. You know, to to be able to get a thousand point like that, and you know we we had a great crowd. Uh, you know, I think all year long the, the Wednesday home game was big, and hopefully the students and, and community continue to support alumni because this team's going to be really good, and you know they feed off that energy. You guys were pretty aggressive defensively, you held them to 32 percent from the floor and only 52 points. What did you like from your teams on the defensive side today? Yeah, I thought we were very active defensively. You know, those numbers are really good, um, and I think the biggest thing is we defended without fouling. You know, that was a big part of our issue at Cleveland State: the fouls that they called and putting uh, Cleveland State on the foul line. And you know, Jaden Stone's a really good player. He really hurt us last year. Uh, you know, the games that he's had already this year. So we wanted to try to make it as difficult as possible for him to be a high volume shooter and, and a low volume scorer and to hold him to four for 17, three for 14. You know, there's multiple guys. They did a lot of handoffs and ball screens. So we switched a lot to try to, you know, make him work and earn it. And, um, you know, 23 is a really good player, Delcadia. Um, you know, hold him three for 11. Uh, you know, I thought our defense you know, was really, really good. So AJ Clayton, of course, is the leading scorer today. That's the third different player who's been a leading scorer through three games so far. What does that say just about the depth of this offense? Yeah, you know, I think you know you'll you'll continue to see that. There's other guys that'll step up and score as well. Um, you know, I thought it was really big. AJ hit his first couple threes. You know, just to give him that confidence piece. And you know, six for seven, four for five, two for two. You know, that's that's a great stat line. 18 points. You know, six rebounds. And you know, he's such a threat as a pick and pop five guy where you draw the other defender out to create driving angles for our guys. And when he's hitting them, you know, it just gives a, a, the defense another thing to think about. Ashley Beach, Ohio Athletics. Er, earlier this week, AJ Brown mentioned that um, an area of improvement was taking care of the little things. How do you feel your team did that? Today? Yeah, for the most part, I thought it was good. You know, the, the eight rebounds in the first half, you know, was disappointing. Um, you know, the, the way they play four guards and one big, they put a lot of pressure on you. So we, we really had to be kind of sound defensively. You know, and that's one thing that hurts the Cleveland State is the gambling. And uh, I thought tonight, you know, we did a good job on their back doors, uh, did a good job of disrupting, and, uh, you know, most importantly, did a great job of communicating. Anything else? Any questions, Luke? No questions. Anybody else? Well, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. If I don't see you, 
Um, you guys going to Bahamas that post sending you down there? <laughs> we got we to talk to them about that. Okay. Safe travels, everyone. Thank you.